it's Rach. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you featuring the Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette. This was a Christmas present and I absolutely love it. It has some gorgeous shades and I thought I would use it to create a summer nighttime look. This is a look that I would definitely wear if I was going out, whether it be to a beach party or to a club or to a, a backyard party, a barbecue, somewhere where you want to has sort of have a slightly more special look because it is a nighttime look but you still want to keep it light and fun and summery so i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and check out the description box for a list of all the products and tools used as well as links where possible and with that being said let's jump into the tutorial Okay, so I've started this look by prepping my skin using the Embryolisse La Creme Concentrate. I just like this to give my skin some moisture before I start applying my makeup. Then I'm going to prime just the center of my face using Benefit's Pore Professional. I like this one because it just really fills in your pores and smooths out this area and helps your makeup last all day too. Or all night since this is a nighttime look. <laughs> Nighttime looks usually call for a more of a high coverage foundation, but in summer the last thing I want to do is apply anything thick or heavy to my face. So I'm going to go for the Garnier BB Cream for combination to oily skin because this one it feels quite lightweight on the skin, but it also offers quite a fair amount of coverage. Buffing that in with a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. That's given me fairly good coverage, but there's still some blemishes and some redness that I'd like to conceal. So for that, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I just use a small amount of this, and by using a beauty blender to apply it, I find that that really kind of thins it out and keeps it from being too heavy. This is really long wearing too, so if you plan to be sweating it out on the dance floor, this should hopefully stay in place for most of the night. Once that's all done, I'm going to set the T-zone of my face with a little bit of my NARS pressed powder foundation, and I'm using the Wayne Goss uh, Christmas Edition brush. I really, really like this brush, and I'm really glad that he brought out the larger size brush because I've found it comes in so much handy. And it's just lovely for applying powder. If you're really worried, you can set your whole face with powder, but I find that by the time I apply bronzer and blush, I'm already adding a whole lot of powder to the outsides of my face, so I like to just really set the T-zone because I don't apply a lot of other products on the top of that area. Moving on to brows, I'm just going to brush through mine with a spoolie and then I'm going to use Benefit's Browsing Little Compact here. This is in the shade Medium and I'm going to use this wax and powder just to fill in my eyebrows slightly. I don't want it to be too groomed looking so I'm going to try and use just little short strokes just to fill in any sparse areas. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit of extra time on your eyebrows. I always spend a lot more time than I actually show in any video, just sort of filling them in and making sure that I like the way that they look. Once they're filled in, I just go back in with the spoolie just to really make it look quite natural. Starting off with the eyes, I'm taking a little bit more of that concealer and just applying it to my lids to create a little bit of a base. And we're going for quite a, a soft, smoky look today, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This one is by Delium Tools, it's number 776. And I'm going to start off with the shade Bliss, which is this one here. It's just this neutral skin colour. And I'm going to apply this along my brow bone, just as a bit of a highlight. I'm going to do something a little bit different and start from the top of my brow bone and work my way down, as opposed to starting on my lid and working the way up like I usually do. Next on that same brush, I'm going to take this shade up here. This is a really nice, slightly matte uh, apricot shade, and this is called Nectar. Just a small amount of this. And I'm just running this along the top of my crease. This is the shade that I'm going to use to really blend out the other colours that I apply. You don't have to worry about the colour being too pigmented. You just want a really nice, soft wash of colour. Moving on, I'm going to come back down to the bottom of the palette. This shade here is Wheat, which again is kind of a similar shade. This one's a little bit darker and a little bit more brown toned. 
and I'm just going to run this through the crease. By using all these different shades and really working them in softly, we're kind of reducing the amount that we need to blend and hopefully all these colours will just all fade together to give us that really soft, smoky look that we're going for. For the lid, I'm going to be taking this shimmery apricot peach colour. This is absolutely gorgeous, reminds me so much of summertime, but without being too orange to be scary if you're a little bit afraid of colour. So I'm just going to wipe this all over the lid. If you have blue eyes, this shade will really make your eyes pop, but as you can see, I have brown eyes and I think it works on me too. Once that colour is all over the mobile part of your lid, I'm going back in with Sable, which is again a darker shade of a matte light brown colour. Keeping that same brush, just taking a little bit on the tip, tapping off the excess, and then I'm going to run through this through the crease just to start deepening it up a little bit. I'm also going to bring it down on the outer corner of my eye. Taking a little bit more of that sable shade and I'm just going to start running this along the outer lower part of my lash line. I'm still using quite a large brush because I want to bring that colour down a decent way. To start adding a bit more depth to this look I'm going to go in with this small Hakuhori brush and this taupey brown shade here which is called Dusk. Just taking a small amount of this and I'm going to start working this into the outer V. really concentrating this shade in to a small area right into the crease to almost give the illusion of a slightly cut crease look. Don't forget to run a little bit of this just on the lower outer corner. Just so everything connects together. Once the colour is all placed just take a clean fluffy brush and blend out any harsh edges. This one here is the Sigma Diffused Crease E38. Coming back in with a flat shader brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of this wheat shade down here. And I'm just going to run this along that lower inner lash line. Blending it in with the other shades that we applied earlier. I want to continue to keep the summertime look quite soft and hazy so instead of using a black liner I'm actually going to use a brown pencil liner and line my upper waterline. If you have lighter features, lighter eyes then you may want to use this brown liner and also line your lower waterline for that little bit of extra smokiness that give that more of a sultry look but for me my features are quite dark so I want to keep a little bit of my eyes open and instead I'll just do the top lash line but it's really up to you personal preference. Really push that liner in between the lashes to make them look thicker. For the upper lash line, I'm going to use this really, really tiny little push liner brush. This is the Wayne Goss number no. 8 brush and this dark chocolate brown shade called Java. You could also use a black shade if you wanted to. And I'm just going to really push this into the lashes. To really amp up this nighttime look, it is all about the lashes. So I'm going to curl mine and then apply a ton of mascara. If you plan to be spending your night in quite a hot area, then I would recommend using a waterproof mascara because that way you're less likely to end up with panda eyes and sweating off half your mascara. I'm using the Lancome Hypnostar waterproof version. And of course, don't forget those bottom lashes. Moving back to the face, I'm going to take the bronzer from the palette. This one here is called Suntan. And I'm going to apply it, this all over the face, really using the Furless Pro 6F brush. This is like a stippling brush, just to give a, a slightly lighter application. Just applying this wherever the sun would hit your face. 
So I'm actually applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose. It is summertime, so if you don't have a natural tan, you want to fake it. And don't forget your ears. There's nothing worse than having really pale ears if the rest of your face is all bronzed up. To do some really light contouring, I am going to take the Furless Pro 5F brush with that same bronzer, just a little bit on the tip, and just really put, place this in the hollow right there, just along the side of your ear at the bottom of your cheekbone. Just a little bit of nose contouring as well. And under the lip, because why not? For blush, I'm going to take my favourite summertime bronze goddess kind of shade. This is Warm Soul from MAC. I'm going back in with that Wayne Goss Christmas Edition brush. And I'm just applying this to the backs of my cheekbones. This has a really pretty sheen to it that will really sparkle when it gets hit with the light. And for a little bit of extra colour, I'm going to go back into the palette and take this blush here, which is called Carnation. It's a really, really pretty light kind of pink shade. And I'm just going to apply this just to the apples of my cheeks, just for that natural kind of flush. Love how I keep on saying, for that natural look, for that natural look, even though everything that I'm applying is all fake. you got to fake it if you don't have it naturally, I guess. <laughs> Lastly for the skin, if you like to add a little bit of extra sheen to the skin, a little bit of extra highlight, I'm going to use this one here. This is Shimmer again from the palette. It's just called Shimmer. I'm going to apply a little bit just to the top of my cupid's bow. I really want to use this sparingly because I don't want it to be too over the top. Like I said, it's summer and I feel like summer requires less or less heavy makeup looks. So apply a little bit down the bridge of my nose. A little bit of this just in the inner corner of the eye too will really make them pop. And last but not least, if you still feel like you don't have a lot of shimmer, you can always apply a little bit just to the very tops of your cheekbones. For lips, I think this look calls for a nude, kind of slightly maybe peach toned lips. So I'm going to use the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my finger and just rub it into my lips. Doing it this way will kind of keep you the natural shade of your lip and just give it that little bit of extra bit of colour. Also since for me I feel like summer is the time for a glossy lip, I don't wear them often but summer is definitely the time that I do, I'm going to add a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. Oh, it just makes me want apple strudel. I love these. They smell so yummy. So this is my finished summer night's makeup look. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Obviously, depending on how much makeup you wear, really, you could wear this in the daytime as well. But for me, I just think it's pretty if you're going out dancing or going to a beach party or something like that. Just that little bit extra, playing around with that peach colour really makes it a fun summer look. If you recreate this look, definitely send me a picture or tag me on any of my social media, all of which are linked down below. Come say hi. I would love to chat to you. Or you could even send me pictures of just your go-to summer night look. I would really like to see it. I will zoom in so you guys can get a closer look and other than that I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Oh my God, smells like chocolate okay, now I think about what to do, think about what to say because it's hot and sweaty and no matter what you end up doing, half your makeup will probably end up down your face anyway so no, that is not the right sentence. And I managed to just spill some of that all over my table. Well done, Rachel. Well done. It'd probably help if I had my pencil sharpened. Now you're never gonna quit it, now you're never gonna quit it, now you're never gonna quit it if you don't stop smoking it. That's what she said.